We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, God. We give you praise. We give you honor. Oh, God, we love you. Oh, God, we stand in a place of faith. We stand in a place of expectancy. We're going to continue to see mighty interventions that is coming by the power of your hand and because of our covenant that you provide and you blessed us with so many spiritual blessings that we are the blessed of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I feel in my heart like there's some people in here and also those of you that are watching where it's like the Spirit of God is bringing back this story in Daniel chapter 10. And how many are familiar with this, this, this story in Daniel 10 where the Bible says that Daniel was praying? And it says this, watch this. On the first day that Daniel prayed, his words were heard. God heard his, his prayer. God received that prayer the first day. Some of you in this room and those of you that are watching, you, you've prayed and you've asked and you know that you have asked. But it's almost like something has happened to my prayer. It's like, God, I've prayed and I'm, it's not like I'm in a lack of faith, but it seems like something is messing with my prayer. Because that's exactly what happened with Daniel. You know, he prayed the first day his words were heard and then all of a sudden it's like this warfare came and and the intensity of battle went on for 21 days and I feel like that's where some of you are at and God wants us to add something to your intercession and you know what that is a binding up of the forces of darkness who think that they have a right to interfere amen in what God is bringing to you amen Sometimes I've, I've often wondered, you know, I've prayed things and I could tell that it's, it's gone right to the heart of God. And I could tell that the Lord then is sending that answer back. And then the enemy loves to try to get in the way. If you're in that place right now, I want you to raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Look at this. Look at how many people are here. And those of you that are watching, raise your hand. Keep one hand on the wheel if you're driving. Don't let Jesus take that wheel. You, <laughs> you do it. But, but I want you to keep your hand up because here's what I want. I want, I want some, you know what, can you just come on up front? That's okay. Just come on up front, and then I want the intercessors, and like we did Janet before, I want them to stand behind you in a, in a place of agreement. Just line up in a single file line if you can. If there's more than, than room, then we'll just keep squeezing in here. But I feel like something of breakthrough is coming. That's what we're really going to pray for. We're going to pray for a breakthrough. We're going to pray for something to begin to break through. How you doing, David? His mother went home to be with Jesus, woman of God. Come here. Let me just lay my hands on your family as they come. Father, I just speak the comfort and the grace of the Holy Spirit upon them. What a powerful warrior, Lord, she is. And we just thank you for the comfort now over the whole family. Father, as they walk through this, we thank you that it is well and it shall be well. Touch their heart. Touch their life. Touch their family. In the name of Yeshua. Now, you're in this, this line. You're precious to God. You're precious to me as well. And, you know, I want to encourage you of something. You know, when you're in a situation when you've prayed, the Bible says something that sometimes we forget also. It's called faith and patience. Let faith and patience do what? Have their perfect what? Work. Sometimes I love the faith part. I release my faith and it gets up there and it touches God's heart. But... Uh, this is why I'm not a doctor because I don't have any patients and so I really don't and those of you that are watching you didn't even get that but here's the point the point is I don't I'm not a very patient person and so I always pray scriptures over me you know father the fruit of the spirit of patience it, it's in me somewhere it, it's in me it's growing how many of you you're in this line you'd be honest so you're probably not a very patient person okay or you're not Okay, one of these days you need to come up and sing like Elvis for me because I heard you can really do it there. 
Michael. All right. How many of you say you got the patience down? But maybe you don't have, and I'm not saying you don't, but maybe you don't have the faith part down. So you got to have faith and patience. So when we're in that, but here's the other thing. So you can have the faith part. You can have patience. But then there's something that is called the enemy who comes to seek to, to steal, kill, and destroy. And he comes after the very things that we pray. And we have to stand up in a place and we have to say, no, devil, you're not allowed. We've prayed. Some of us, we've fasted. We believe that we receive, but you are not going to mess. Do you know one of the things the book of Revelation says, and I, I forget where it's at. I think it's in Revelation or maybe it's in Daniel about the end times where we will say, and Brenda, you wrote on this one day, that you will say there is no more delay. Do you remember where that verse is? I can't remember. Anyway, there is a verse in the Bible where it talks about there is a day that we shall say there is no more delay. Now, I said this on Flashpoint, and I want to just teach you something. Many of us are getting in a place as we're watching things being exposed. We're watching things come to a whole nother level. And there's people that are saying, well, is anything ever going to happen? And I heard the Spirit of God say to me, tell the people not to say that. And in John chapter 4, verse 35, Jesus says, say not that there are four months and then the harvest. Look up. Look up. Why did he say look up? Because he said something is already manifesting. So if you really believe what you're up here standing for, and you really believe what you are standing for that's watching us, then say not anything but what you've prayed. Because just like the fields are already white, uh, white unto harvest, your prayers are being manifest. So we're going to take authority over that. All right, Pastor Brenda, would you come? I'm going to have you pray. And I'm going to have you, we're going to bind up the enemy. And I want you to decree that these people and those that are watching, they're going to see answers marvelously to their prayers. And I just want you to, can you just step up here? I just want to lay my hands on you. And as my hands are laid upon you, Father, you know the desires of their heart. You know what they're believing for, what they're moving towards. And I just pray not of their own might or power, but let it be by the Spirit of God, a fresh season, a new start. Father, a blessing. Thank you, Lord. Now, Pastor Doug, you had mentioned there's a couple. Is this the couple of Utah? Are you guys from Utah? Yeah, Pastor Doug told me, so it's not like I have a word of knowledge here. I just, But I felt to pray for the two of you. Father, they have a desire. They're from Utah. They have a desire to move here. Is that correct? To transition here. Then, Father, I come against any resisting force, any hindering spirit, and I break its power. And I speak. I release the host in the name of Yeshua. Uncommon favor. Ooh, man, I feel this uncommon favor grace grace to any mountain be thou removed and I speak grace for the place grace for the place grace for the place grace for the place and I bind every evil spirit and I say God you order their steps their timing and may they come into the fullness of your blessing in the name of Yeshua. And I speak that over here. All right, Mama. All right. Matthew, I'm, I'm going to get Matt to help too. me pray. But something that came in my spirit when you were saying that is, wow. you know, sometimes the reason we don't see. Hold on just a minute. Yep. April, I just saw the Spirit of God said, say this now. It's like it's, I just saw a door that just keeps revolving around where you just like, sometimes you feel like a lot of things have been spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. But I saw because of your obedience to the Lord and your heart connection to God, I saw it's like God took that door that's been spinning like this and you're, you just took a turn, which had to do with your heart, your decision, your choices. And I saw the hand of God just spin you towards something new that's coming. 
something greater that is coming, something that is going to make you smile every single day, and it's going to have a blessing attached to it because God is rewarding you for your decisions. And God said it's going to bring a greater reprieve, even financially, to you, that you are going to be amazed at the undergirding and the blessing of God because the cycle is ending, and the thrust of that is bringing you to a whole new place. In, in God's blessing for you. Thank Amen. You. Sorry, Brandon. I didn't mean to no, that's okay. Yeah, Listen, all of you that are up here, I, I feel in my heart, and I'm going to have Matthew pray something out, but I feel that one of the biggest hindrances, the reason the enemy sometimes come in, comes in to hinder our prayers is we try to fix things in the natural. How many of you have ever been there? You it, Rather than trust God, rather than cast it over on the Lord, we've got to always have our finger in something, trying to do things in the flesh, Come on, I've been there. We've all been there. And I found out when I try to force something in the flesh, it ends up being a disaster. And it ends up setting you back farther than coming into the blessing. And I can just even think in my own mind where I've done that in my life over the years. And I have found out that if I would just put it on God and let him do it, my job is to pray and be obedient. Come on, to tithe, to give, to do, and be obedient to God. God just is like, oh, there it is. So I just want you to, first of all, I'm going to have Matt just pray and break the power of the enemy from coming against you. But I want you to say these words. Say, Lord. I place every situation in your hands. I take my hands out of it. I put your hands into it. I'll speak right. I won't get frustrated. I'll stay in faith. Help me with my patience. And Lord, I thank you. You're going to bring it to pass in a supernatural way in Jesus name. Now Matthew, I want you to take authority over the enemy for these anybody any demon that's coming against these people that it'll be broken by the power of God in Jesus name. Come on. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, that your word says that if we cast our cares upon you, you care for us. Therefore, anything that we desire, Lord, our needs can be met. And so, Father, right now, I speak and I declare over each and every person right here near the front, those in the uh, online audience, we declare and we speak peace, favor, blessing to their needs, their prayer requests, Lord, in the name of Jesus. For, Lord, those people, Lord, that sit and they write their requests out to you, Lord. Let those needs and those requests be made, Lord, in their favor, Lord. Let shifting come over their lives in the name of Jesus. Devil, you get your hands off the people's minds, off the people's needs in the name of Jesus. We bind it. We break it now. You have no power. And we declare now a peace and a shift over each and every person in Jesus' name. Devil, loose them in the name of Jesus. We speak healing. We speak favor. We speak prodigals. Come home now in Jesus' name. We speak and declare the impossible becomes possible. Those things that seem like it's so far off. No, 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 no. God says, I'm the God of the impossible to possible. I'm the God that shall meet your needs. Therefore, we speak and declare angelic reinforcements. Go now. We loose you to go towards the people and surround the people in Jesus' name. We speak a bloodline around each and every person in the name of Jesus. We speak favor. We speak peace in Jesus' name. Those that struggle at night to sleep, we say that looses them in the name of Jesus. Those looking for new jobs, we say new job opportunities, new doors, new talents in the name of Jesus. Lord, give them a fresh anointing, new anointings, new innovative ideas, God, in the name of Jesus. And we declare it now in the name of Jesus and peace of mind, 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 peace of mind in Jesus' name. For they talk, walk, and speak, Lord, in the spirit, not in the flesh. For God, you go before them. They don't need to have all the answers, for you have the answers, Father God. And we declare it now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. How many of you agree with that? And Father, I don't know, I'm going to say this last part. I feel like money needs to be loosed in some of your hands. So we say financial transactions to benefit. Houses to be bought. Houses to be sold. Come on, property to be sold or bought. Finances come into the hands. Finances that have been held up, we loose you. 
And we say no more hindrance, no more hindrance in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen if you agree with it. Praise the Lord. All right, we'll give somebody a knuckle touch as you make your way back to your seats. Love on somebody in God's house. Come on, tell them, tell somebody, those of you that are out